New tonight, sheriff deputies and their loved ones are making their final pleas before the San Pete County Commissioners, begging for raises or else they'll have to leave. The sheriff tells Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser his deputies are struggling while making $6 less an hour than neighboring agencies. Plain and simple. It was a long day inside the San Pete County Courthouse. You've been putting a band aid. You have been putting a band aid on a bullet hole for years, and he's giving you a tourniquet. As sheriff deputies and their supporters fought for higher pay. When we solve a problem that puts a band aid on something for today, it doesn't provide a future for my children, and I cannot stay here long term if there is no future for my family in this county. The San Pete County Sheriff says a lot of his deputies have left because the pay can't compare to other counties. 65 people have left since 2011 and 40% of them within the last three years. We only have 47, so that's well over 100% turnover rate. Sheriff Jared Buchanan says right now only two deputies can patrol the entire county, measuring more than 1600 square miles per shift. What if, what if that person shot? You know what I'm saying? Where, where's the backup? What happens safety-wise with the sheriff's department is not on the sheriff. It is completely on our commissioners. The sheriff is willing to give up a detective position and vehicle replacements to increase salaries for deputies, dispatchers, and those who work in the jail. I'm concerned that with the proposal the commissioners had given us that if I have three more deputies in my jail walk out, that we will not be able to continue to provide the service in the jail. The county commissioners decided to increase pay by $5 for those in their first 10 years, then raise it $3 for more experienced deputies. They'll review and discuss the sheriff's proposed salaries by February 1st. We can't just magically throw a switch and have the money there. We'll look at it, but no promises. In San Pete County, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.